everyone this is Gautam and today we're gonna see how you can actually import your contacts to the AI Sensei dashboard and how you can broadcast them messages quite seamlessly so there are a few rules before we go on to the import so I have my excel sheet here for reference I have this doc file also these points are mentioned on the sheet 2 part here on this uh, sample CSV and these are the contacts actually which we will be importing in this demo tutorial so it's very basic it's very easy there are a few rules let's go one by one and, and understand how can we go along with these rules the number one rule says that tags have to be kept vertical bar separated this is the tags column and if you have uh, multiple tags like warm lead important cold lead you just need to keep them uh, bar separated no commas no full stops just a bar a vertical bar separated so that's the number one, quite an easy one. The second rule is something that we'll be doing right now that all tags and attributes, whatever you are importing, have to be created pre-hand on the AI Sensei platform. So basically, uh, the tag values and the attribute names. I'll be taking you through how you can actually do that. So let's go on and create these tags first on the AI Sensei platform. So you log into AI Sensei dashboard and this is the contacts page. Let's go to manage. And in manage is a section called tags so I had three tags here one is warm lead one is important and one is cold lead and I'll just click on create just write warm lead name it lead type and turn on the customer journey yes this actually shows this tag on the customer journey section in the user profile section for now first message is not a part of this so yes we can leave that and we can click on submit next was important and I can just say lead type is same customer journey yes the third is actually cold lead great if I go back I can actually see cold lead important and warm lead as my three tags that I have recently added right so prehand I have actually you know used these tags next is so if I'm importing some attributes, you know, so attribute one, attribute two, attribute three. So I can just use them in different columns. That is the number one thing. Okay. And the second thing is I can actually name these attributes anything. So I can say, okay, this is the industry. And uh, this is the, let's call it lead stage. And this is the country. Right. Yeah. So this is how we are set up. So first row basically goes for the headers. Okay. And this is what headers we would be matching up to the headers in the contacts page. So yeah, so the first row is reserved for the headers. Before I import these attributes, I actually need to create these attributes. So the attribute names are industry, lead stage and country. Let's go back to the AI Sensei dashboard. Let's go to user attributes and let's just do that. So the three attributes were industry. I cannot leave any spaces out here. So I'll just be not leaving any space out here too. Once I create the attribute, I'll just need to click on save so that these attributes are created. Also, I can go to the contacts page and I can check these attributes if they have been created or not. And yes, I can see dollar country, dollar lead stage, dollar industry have been created here. So I'm quite ready you know with my CSV there are a few small things that we need to cover more the next is you know for Indian phone numbers you can actually keep them in any kind of format so you can have it in plus nine one you can just have the nine one or zero or any of these right if, but yes if you're importing numbers of countries other than India you need to put a complete country code along with a plus Okay, so let's suppose we import a UK number here. So for the UK number, the country code goes plus four four and that is what I'll need to put up. In case you don't put this up, it will automatically consider that it's an Indian number. So that is how you know the dashboard it's set up for now. The next and very important thing that quite we saw that happening in Google Sheets and Excel also is, let's suppose if I simply enter a number or just a number with a plus sign initially suppose I say this is 91 okay and I click on enter so this automatically removes the plus sign from here 
and it converts the plus to an equal to. Now this is kind of a problem that might come up if you are you know creating contacts. So to overcome this problem what you will need to do is you need to choose those cells or you can even choose a whole column. So what I've done here is I've chosen these cells specifically okay where I need uh, to add the plus sign. So I'll be clicking on format. Once I choose these cells where I want an additional plus sign you know to work perfectly I'll be going to format. I'll be going to number and then I'll go to more formats. In more formats, I'll go to custom number format. Once I go to custom number format, I'll be adding something like this to a custom number format. So I will just be adding a plus and zero 11 times, 10 or 11 times actually works out. And I'll just click on apply. Now, once I click on apply, let's, I'll just show you how this works on this one. So if I go to format once again, I've chosen the cell go to custom number format and I click on apply and boom that's fine here. Now I get the plus back and it's quite you know easy to do that. So now I have my mobile numbers ready. I have my name ready. The first first row is ready. Tags are ready. Everything's all set. So source is something that you can you know uh, put up on your own. It, can, it could just be your lead source from where you're getting the lead or you know you can just put up different sources with different uploads. So that is all up to you. Source is a predefined kind of attribute in the platform itself just like tags. Right. So I think now we are quite good enough. All of these rules that I have mentioned are also mentioned in the sheet number two in this sample CSV. Also, you can just download this, get the sample file from, you know, bit.ly from this link itself, https bit.ly slash AICNC CSV. Great. And now you just need to do one thing that is download the file in a CSV format. So what I'll do is I'll click on file. I'll go to download comma separated values and I'll download this file. And now I have the sample CSV for AICNC, right. Next moment I'll be going to the AICNC platform and it is suggestible to do a refresh if you have recently added tags. You can click on import and I'll upload the file. This is the next step where you'll need to map the CSV headers to AICNC attributes. So we have some native attributes like tags, source, name, phone number and some created attributes like the ones we created like industry, lead type, country and all of these, right? So we'll be mapping them uh, to the CSV headers so that we can actually bring up the import rightly. So I'll go name for username, I'll go mobile number for phone number and I'll go tags for tags, source is for source, industry is for industry. So on the right you can see are the AICNC platform attributes on the left are the CSV headers that we mentioned on the Excel sheet. So lead stage, I'll go to countries, country and I am quite all set. I have mapped all the attributes to the CSV headers. Okay. Uh, so here are some basic things like if a phone number already exists in contacts, then it will be ignored from the file. The attributes would be updated, but yeah, it won't be added as a new contact. Tag names, as I've said, should be type separated in the CSV file. Contacts from countries which are not listed on WhatsApp will be ignored. We are quite done with you know mapping the file and we just need to hit on the import button. Once I click on import button, within a few minutes you will actually see the import start and all the contacts imported to the ASNC dashboard. Also we can see here that the country, lead stage, industry and everything is has been imported quite very cleanly, neatly and quickly on the ASNC dashboard. Next moment, we can filter out these contacts on the basis of different tags, source, also attributes. So let's suppose if I say that I want to just shoot messages to prospects. So I can just go to attributes and I can say lead stage is prospect, right? And click on apply. I'll just get all those people who had the lead stage prospect. Next moment I could say that you know I want lead stage is prospect and or tag is has warm lead. So I can hit on that and I'll get all those people whose either the tag has warm lead or the lead stage is prospect. So this way I can actually filter out my contacts and I can choose them all at once or I can choose all those people that I just want to broadcast a message to. And then furthermore, I can go and click on the broadcast. So yeah, once I click on the broadcast, I'll be just naming the campaign like sample campaign one. 
and next moment I'll have to I can choose a regular message or a pre-approved template message so regular message is sent to only those users who have been active in the last 24 hours who have actually sent you a message in the last 24 hours and pre-approved template messages go to all those users who have given you the consent to send them messages whom you have actually imported now these could be your leads these could be your users these could be your customers all of them I can choose any of the template messages that I would like for suppose I go for a product details message out here and I can just say dollar first name now I can use the first name I can use dollar name I can use dollar last name I can use any of these you know attributes out here these are predefined attributes in the platform itself this gives you the personalization benefit in the template message next I can say my organization name is AI Sensi so I can just put up AI Sensi here and also I can use any of the attributes that I've created I could just use dollar industry you know uh, or any of the attributes that I have actually created you know and here are the details and I can just say okay order confirmation and I can just put up the third attribute which is the dynamic link okay so after my base URL I can just add any kind of value here so I can say okay this is for pricing and now once I click on send now all the messages would go to the respective users quite instantly and that is how you basically import contacts and broadcast messages in a personalized manner once you do that you can just go to campaigns and you can also see the statistics of each and every broadcast so I have also taken up this in, in quite depth in another video you can just check out that video and also look how you can broadcast personalized messages and how you can see the campaign statistics quite instantly Thanks a lot for watching this up and we'll be coming up with more good tutorials, more good knowledge around WhatsApp, around WhatsApp use cases, WhatsApp business API, how you can actually boost your business and convert more customers using AI Sensei. Thanks a lot.